my dear Scorpio, this is a bonus reading for the second half of July 2019 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. I'm reading them in order of most liked videos from previous reading published for July. And I'm trying to do as many as possible of these before I will go to retreat uh, uh, today. Okay, <laughs> so this will be a love reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising sign. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you this is you, it can as well be the person or situation you are dealing with. Use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading and it will be different for every viewer in some way or the other. So for this reading I will use uh, the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis and I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here uh, I see uh, the Alchemist in the reverse and Two of Swords in the reverse. So there's something here, butting heads a little bit with others that make you uh, go quiet or become nervous in some way. So this is compromising with others and it's in the reverse. And the two of swords is kind of diplomacy by avoiding your own feelings. And it, when, it, when it is in the reverse, it's often a certain panic or, <laughs> or tension to this uh, card so it seems like you are trying to get along uh, with some person uh, and um, uh, it's uh, putting a little bit sweat on your forehead okay and a little bit anxiety in your chest so i call the divine with love and light and here we have the star card in the reverse together with the two of swords so you don't really trust the divine to uh, <laughs> help you uh, with these relationships you try to compromise yourself in a certain way you don't follow your highest path here um, fully um, so with the two of swords in the upright position it's something you're trying to suffocate with yourself mm, I will see if, if these cards can answer the question to what it is thank you um when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So that's what's very beautiful. And it's this. So I think uh, you're trying to make peace with people. Um, it's, it's almost tearing me up a little bit because it seems very sweet. Um, it seems like you're valuing these people a lot and, and you're trying to, or this person a lot, and, and you're trying to sacrifice... Um, maybe your own um, sense of feeling comforted or being comfortable uh, for others. It's uh, very sweet and a little bit unusual by all my, <laughs> my viewers that usually are up for a, a rebellious fight <laughs> towards the um, authority. <laughs> okay, so uh, I called the... Uh, I don't know where I were, four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the hangman with the two of swords in the reverse. So I really think you're trying to temper yourself. You're trying to sacrifice your own ego, your own needs. You try to be nice. You're trying to um, make the other person comfortable. You're trying to, maybe you're also, there's a lot of white lies piling up. Uh, things that you might need to say if this sometimes we act like this in the beginning of a relationship uh, and we are very uh, conformed and nice and only show our best side but uh, if you want this uh, relationship to last for a longer period of time you probably need to act a little bit more naturally and and tell people when they are stepping over your boundaries it's small things all the time we can do it uh, and, and still be friendly we can say uh, I don't pr I prefer if you don't do that it makes me feel like this so it's just going to make them respect you more it's not like you need to uh, act uh, perfect for people to love you you can look at the people you love yourself they are usually not particularly perfect <laughs> and you uh, put up with them <laughs> anyways 
Uh, so it's kind of sweet, but uh, I'm not uh, to totally happy with you being so held back and so careful walking on eggshells. So six elements and here we have victory together with the two of swords. So it seems like the divine thinks it's a good idea and that you will have success with this. So maybe it's something new you are trying out. <laughs> maybe before you were like, ah, this is my way or the highway. And now we are going to do it in this way. And, and, and now you have learned um, maybe to take things a little bit more careful and be a little bit more nice. Two of swords, it's, it's like trying to negotiate peace uh, maybe without words so it's often that we are swallowing our words to stay in the peaceful situation so and this is leadership so it seems like you are rending some kind of respect out of this that people are seeing um, looking at you and thinking oh that's a good person they are really patient with everyone and they are really um they are really being able to be the bigger person it costs you <laughs> i see it costs you but it seems like you render some kind of respect out of this, but don't remember also to do this with, you know, being able to tell things when sometimes when we don't let when we let people go over our boundaries again and again and again and again, it will blow up. This can be a false modesty that will blow up in the other person's face or the other people's face uh, when you have had enough. So uh, when things really are important for you, I urge you to actually tell um, how it is you will see that it is important for you because you will obsess a little bit over it you will not find peace of mind so it will come again and again and again then it's usually kind of angel radio that you have picked up with your antennas here telling you that you need to speak out and this is a six of wands so it's about win-win messages it's when we are uh, talking to the crowd and and they are liking what we are hearing and we do so in self-respect and honor so um it seems uh, like when you actually open your mind ma mind yeah maybe mind and mouth <laughs> to uh, to speak about the things that's a little bit bothering people will listen and follow you because you are not the one that uh, usually whines about things so when you finally do people will listen or you will make them listen <laughs> so Six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and give us a clear view reading for my dear uh, Scorpio viewers. So, a star card in the reverse, yeah. <laughs> That's about losing hope. And, and um, I think that you had more hope before. Maybe you were able to be more yourself and more outspoken and more um, on a rampage. Uh, and now you have, it's like you have lost your own confidence a little bit, but it doesn't seem all that bad because it might be that you have lost confidence in your ego and, and your soul is coming instead. So that's a good transformation. So um, I want my dear Scorpio to have love in their lives and <laughs> to find themselves on their highest, highest path towards their highest destiny. We make the short version <laughs> okay so we'll just tune in for a few seconds here to you and um, your situation Scorpio okay uh, so uh, this will be your behavior attitude towards them outcome and their behaviors and attitudes towards you there this is on your emotional level. So your feelings uh, towards them, common energies like the bond between you and their uh, feelings uh, towards you. And this is uh, what's on your conscious mind about them, the, outcome, the situation and uh, the, what's on their conscious mind about you. So for once, it seems to be very loving, uh, very stable, very beautiful. And here we also have this with... Uh, compromising and trying to work it out trying to find ways to get along together it's very passionate as well I think you might have found a, a person you really like here the six of wands is also connected to the lovers card so we really try to be our best version here <laughs> still this giving up of hope there uh, um, so it might be that you have conformed yourself a little bit uh, to fit in in some way but it's actually it's kind of rewarding because 
uh, it seems like you have some certain kind of stability in your relationship here with this certain someone or several certain someones. Um, it's this is a second card for love in the major arcana so it's the alchemic wedding when we meet someone else that's not uh, particularly like us or might be like us in many ways but in some ways not and, and we're trying to compromise we're trying to you know pour the like if i do a little bit like so and you do a little bit like so maybe we can get along okay uh, so it's actually kind of sweet here uh, and this is um, feelings Oh, <laughs> King of Swords. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm thinking someone is being really strict with themselves. Um, they want to come out of something that they have been stuck in before. And um, it's something with give and take and how to... It's um, connected to the lover's card again. I'm not pretty, totally sure what it is. Maybe you feel like you have given too little before and you're trying to give more. And you're being very strict with yourself. Uh, for some others, it, it might be that you are giving too much to someone uh, that doesn't give that much to you. But this is the judge. It's like the strict father inside of us that tells us to not take that um, uh, third beer because we're going to work tomorrow. Uh, or that um, tells us to not jump in bed with that person because we're going to regret it in the morning. So it's not... Uh, uh, a bad person it's more like the police or the judge uh, inside of you uh, that has a very good moral usually and when it comes in the upright position he looks kind of cruel so we are usually very scared when he comes and say to us no this is not a good bunch of friends for you and we think no i want to keep them <laughs> but um, here with the hangman uh, that's in the reverse it shows that you have come out of some situation uh, that you have learned from and you had to do some kind of sacrifice to get out of it. Um, so it might be that you do more responsible choices uh, these days and uh, you don't let people, uh, you don't get let them overwhelm you, but you don't overwhelm them either. You don't take more than you give. So that's balanced. And it seems like there's a very strict personality here uh, inside of you that keeps track of you. But of course, it might be that you are trying a little bit too hard in this situation uh, and someone is pretty cold emotionally because um, uh, this is very cold, like this person doesn't have connection with their emotion and I asked about emotions. So, um, and I think you don't want your emotions to get in the way for this beautiful thing that's about to happen here. And this is uh, your behavior or attitudes and their behaviors and attitudes. And we have the moon in the reverse and the two of wands. So we're really trying to master our own um, darkness, okay? The feelings that come up and say, you can't accept this. <laughs> um, they are mean towards you. They, don't, they take you for granted. They don't uh, really love you. Things like this. We're trying to be very grown up about it and not uh, let this take over us so it seems like you're in a very delicate situation where you want to behave in a certain kind of way i don't know really if it's a good thing or a bad thing just yet it just is it's just what you're trying out right now and uh, it's it might turn out to be a very good thing and you will learn a lot from it and you will learn to master your demons a little bit you can still listen to your emotions and feel them, but reason with them and say, okay, so you feel very um, unfairly treated right now. Uh, how can we make this better? And, and your emotions might say, okay, I can compromise about maybe they didn't do this with the purpose, uh, but maybe you can still ask them to not do it again and I will calm myself down. <laughs> so here you kind of need to master this and you know, uh, master both maybe the other person and their behavior towards you, but also master your own emotions. So you don't go on a wild rampage and say things that you don't want to say. Uh, it's some kind of gift here that seems to be war. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> uh, I think uh, you are trying to master yourself in some way. So this is what's on your conscious mind about them. And eight, eight of swords, it really seems like you're over behaving 
um, in this situation. But I have seen your reason. I understand them fully. I don't want you to say no, don't conform, <laughs> no. Uh, but try to try to be kinder to yourself at least. Uh, try to uh, to not have so many opinions about how you need to be. Try to um, try to be a little bit more free and let yourself do some mistakes here and there and that could be a good test if this this person really loves you or really wants to be with you because if you do some mistakes here and there um they are probably going to forgive you if they do like you okay so you don't have to be perfect all the time um person that is perfect is usually spoiling their surroundings uh so eight of swords this might be your opinion about them because i've asked about what's on the level of your thinking mind towards them but it seems like you are holding very tight grip on yourself uh, to behave in a certain way uh, this is the situation itself we will look at that after we have looked at this card that's on their conscious mind about you <laughs> we have a two of swords okay uh, so both people seems to be very careful uh, about this relationship and this situation uh, in some uh, some of your situation it's like this that you don't even talk to each other because you're so scared that you will make a mess um, and um, it's very tight it's very tied up I want to take an oracle card from the romance angels to understand what you are up to here it seems a little bit nervous uh, it was in the reverse this playfulness uh, okay so I think it's something new that you are doing uh, so you really want to be on your best behavior uh, neither of you wants to screw this up uh, and um, uh, <laughs> but you're becoming a little bit you're taking it a little bit too serious so try to be a little bit more playful with this um, if if it's really are supposed to be you or you are supposed to be in this relationship uh, it seems like both people are able to be very forgiving in this situation and kind of um, accept whatever the other person does. So I think you have a little bit more space to uh, act out and, you know, um, also enjoy the situation and not only trying to conform yourself and make you not say a stupid thing or do something to jeopardize the relationship. And here we have the situation, which is King of Cups in the reverse. So that's Scorpio in the reverse. What did you have here? Four of Wands. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing still. It's a person uh, with the King of Cups in the reverse. It's usually that we haven't really healed ourselves. So we don't love ourselves head to toe. There's things with us that we just can't accept because we think that we are a little bit crazy and a little bit too much, and a little bit too difficult, um, and a little bit too over-emotional, and we can't trust our own judgment because uh, we are thinking crazy things, we are not trusting other people, and we have um, over-dramatic feelings. Uh, so, in this situation, you don't trust yourself to be you, uh, because there's something here that you want so badly, like the feeling of coming home, uh, to someone uh, feeling this sense of belonging and it seems with this card that you want this to last kind of forever <laughs> so therefore you're very uh, touchy-feely about this situation and it seems like the other person is too but it's very it's very possible that both of you will act not particularly authentic in this situation and it might make you very disappointed with each other at a later stage so if you could take a deep breath and relax and be a little bit more yourself and um, not go overboard you know <laughs> you know laugh uh, too high and make jokes on another person's expense um, it might not be a good thing we you can have a certain amount of control over yourself something that feels good is not always good um, gossip about other people when they're not around can feel good but it's not good um, but when it comes to your inner core you need to be also taking care of yourself not only the other person uh, and this is on your feelings towards them and we have a six of swords here so you really want to leave the old mistakes behind 
and move on into a brighter future and it's you have the uttermost control over yourself it might be that you're dealing with an air sign it's a lot of uh, um, swords here not the bad swords uh, but more the swords where you try to conform yourself to function in social situations and and you see that your past has been something you don't want to repeat and you're really trying to make this better this time. It's a six again, so it's connected again to the lover's card. Um, it's not um, the lover's connections that have come. It's not super passionate. Uh, it's more uh, a sense of control that you're trying to uh, submit in this relationship. You're trying to have a sense of control. So this is the connection between you two. And this is on their emotional levels, their feelings towards you. And we have a trio of pentacles, so they seem really open for um, for teamwork, working together to build something uh, interesting and um, stable, probably stable. It's like they're curious about this right now and they want to build on this right now. This car doesn't have a long, uh, you don't look far into the future, it's just... A happy feeling right now yes this project it's amazing we don't think about what will uh, be after this project or this summer or this uh, um, vacation or this uh, <laughs> this uh, first few months we try to make it good as it is right now so this person doesn't have forever maybe on their mind it's a possibility but what they are focusing on is to be uh, to make things work uh, so that everyone will be happy here and now. So it's very beautiful, but it's not it's not super passionate. It's very calm uh, in, in some way. But I think it's because you're calming down your emotions. Um, maybe you don't want to get hurt also. And you want to be sure that the other person is on board. And here we are not sure. So should I do this? Should I do that? What What is expected of me here? We are kind of a little bit lost. Uh, we want to have uh, maybe the forever, but it's uh, in the background a little bit. Here we're just trying to make up for some mistakes we have done in the past. We don't want to repeat them. So we have um, we are exercising a high level of control over ourselves and our own behavior. And this is your common energies. <laughs> it's the two of pentacles, so it's kind of sweet. Um, I think people are trying to uh, be very, uh, they are trying to take care of the other feelings and their own feelings um, uh, <laughs> and, and balance them and not ask for too much and take, it's a compromise thing that we're doing here. But I need to warn you a little bit with the two of swords, this three of pentacles and the two of pentacles that it might be that they are not only having this beautiful cooperation with you. It might be that they are not telling you. Maybe they are also dating others or seeing other people. Um, it's not for everyone. And it's not that the person has bad intentions. They are just trying to work things out and find the thing that will make them most happy. And that's they are as you going in the dark trying to figure out the way forward. Uh, am I supposed to be with this person or that person? Uh, they don't know their destiny as little as you do. So they are trying to be good troopers and, and choose the things that they seem to be guided to choose. So they might have more than one option uh, and they are not working these different options uh, to uh, hurt you. Um, it seems like they are doing so uh, for normal, natural reasons. Okay. Um and, and with the King of Swords, it might, of course, be that they're holding back. They don't want to fall in love at this point or, you know, put all their uh, eggs in your basket. Uh, so uh, this is uh, your behavior or attitude towards them. And we have a Queen of Wands here. Uh, so it seems like you are showing up a face of bravery, <laughs> that you are cool and self you're in self-respect. You have this good self-esteem and... Um, you're not a pushover and you're also very warm and generous and welcoming and uh, probably a little bit like an advisor also that people can come to you and ask for things and you will always have a solution to their problem, uh, a smart solution to their problem. So on your behavior and attitude, you don't look as nervous as you feel. <laughs> you look rather cool and 
you know, sexy and interesting. So they think you have um, like a totally great self-esteem and that you love yourself through and through. They don't know that you're trying so hard to to be a good trooper in this situation. And this is the outcome. And I will check on their uh, behaviors and attitudes towards you. And we have a three of swords in the reversed. So three of swords in the reverse shows that this person has some kind of secret. Um, either it's this with the three party, but that was not the first thing on my mind. I'm thinking trauma. Um, but they might not have the best experience of relationships. And, and they assume that things will go south uh, sooner rather than later. But they wish to avoid it as any sane person would do. But they kind of expect it a little bit. So if you feel that this person is, is shy or they are holding back certain things, it doesn't have to be that they are disloyal or dishonest. It can just be that they don't want to share things about what they have been through uh, that was very hurtful but is also very personal for them. Um, this seems to be a rather new relationship, but I will take some card for if you have been in this relationship for a longer period of time. Maybe you are trying again or um, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it kind of says that you are trying out what is safe for you to do in love. You want to stay loved. You don't want to be abandoned. You don't want this person at least doesn't want to have their heart broken. And I guess you don't want either because you're behaving very well. Um, but you need to uh, find more self-love so you will be able to be more yourself also on an inside level, not only as an image to the outside uh, and, and feel that you are worthy of being loved for who you are here. So for those of you who have been in a long relationship, I think people in this relationship haven't gotten to know themselves on the depths that there's a certain distance between you where you haven't really opened um, the well of everything to each other. And maybe it's a way to keep the mystery alive, but uh, I think it would be more it would be more beneficial if you could actually have more conversations in depth in depth <laughs> about uh, how we are feeling instead of just acting very uh, adult and correct. Okay, uh, so maybe losing a little bit of control in this situation and. And, and being able to love a little bit more passionate would be um, advised. But uh, I think you're doing the best way you can. Playfulness in this two of uh, coins, it kind of shows that it's not super serious at this point. Probably both people would be hurt if it didn't, um, if, if it wasn't able to continue. But uh, it's like you are uh, holding it on a playful level. So you want... Uh, invest too much or get too hurt so if we can just stay polite and not be super passionate maybe it won't hurt so much if we need to go our separate ways so very it's, <laughs> it's very held back but it's also sweet because we're doing it out of consideration for the other person so that they will like us but it comes from fear a little bit so that's what's worrying me okay outcome and we have a nine of wands. Uh, so the nine of wands uh, is connected to this moon card. That's 18, one plus eight, nine. It's the hermit. So with this kind of attitude, you will have a hard time to connect is what I'm seeing. That both people are kind of expecting the other person to hurt them. And usually what we expect end, ends up happening. Um, if we think that this will go to hell, the universe says, well, your wish is my command. And he here we can see this person is protecting their heart chakra with their wand. And they have built palisades and like this fence around them to um, avoid getting hurt. Uh, so you are doing this with your very sassy attitude. And, and they are protecting themselves with uh, holding back and not investing fully. I think you want to invest more. You are more ready to give your all. And they are on a little bit more casual level uh, because they have a little bit less hope probably than what you have. But you don't show your vulnerability either. You sh they have a lot of vulnerability, but you don't show it. Uh, you, um, you try to act cool. Uh, 
a person that is vulnerable like this is usually less loyal than the person that is more um, calm and courageous because it's like with a scared dog. A scared dog bites. Uh, a dog that's not scared doesn't bite. So I will see what's going on with that. Whoops. The three of swords in the reverse. We have a very sweet love situation there. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. <laughs> so the divine says it doesn't matter if they hurt you or not. Uh, this will give you great experience that uh, it will be very valuable for you and your continuous spiritual growth. So they don't understand a thing, but it's how it is. It's how the rules we play by here. Uh, we are not being sheltered from uh, getting our heart broken. It's rather that we are getting our heart broken over and over so that we will get used to it and not be so, you know, whiny about it and not... Um, cry so much about it but actually be okay so the person didn't want to be with me I have to accept that th this is their free will and they are not forced to love me um, so children know that your children are protected yeah uh, I think both people here are very scared that their inner children will uh, be unprotected in this situation and um, so the king of source is very good to these things to take care of your inner child uh, it's um, it usually says that, no, you can't trust this person. You need to back off. Uh, and by that, they are not particularly brave. And sometimes they destroy a beautiful situation that could have been because we are getting too scared of getting hurt. But on the other way, it's very crucial to see the red flags. But we don't have to run for the hills uh, immediately. We can you know, weigh our different options. Okay, I see the red flag here. It can mean this and it can mean that. I will keep my eyes open and determine what's what. So becoming a little bit more scientific maybe to not totally uh, give your inner child a way to be traumatized, but also not giving up on the chances that this relationship brings. So children... All parents' first and foremost responsibility is to keep their children safe from harm. The angels want to reassure you that all is well. Your children in heaven and on earth are loved and protected by God and the angels. Your children function at their best when they are loved, cherished and feel secure within their home and family environment. My children are happy and safe. <laughs> so um, I think this is a good affirmation for you. My inner child is happy and safe. Of course, it might be that people have children with them. Um, we have three, three here, which is connected to the Empress. Uh, so it might be a, a mother or a person that takes care of other people. And uh, it might also show more than two people, three. Here we have two, two, three, three. Uh, so two, two, it seems to be when they are with you. And three, three might be their other responsibilities that they have as well. And they might be a little bit careful to not... Uh, jeopardize um, their family just because you have something together uh, or they don't want to jeopardize their um, their friends just for this relationship or can be different situations but it seems like both of you are very scared to to you want this but both of you are very scared to get hurt in this situation uh, which might make it uh, it's usually like this when we meet someone new. So it doesn't have to be a disaster. It's just that you need to be on the lookout to not be too uh, too uh, suspicious or not be too overly nice. Uh, so try to find balance. This card is also for balance. So balance your own needs against the other person's needs and, and um, um, suspicion towards uh, trust and all these things needs to be in balance. Uh, so that this relationship can continue and growing. Okay, so my dear Scorpio, I hope this helped. And um, uh, if you feel like you are lost, uh, you can look at your sun, uh, your sun, moon, and rising. If you if this is your sun, you can look at your moon and rising sign, or Venus to see if you can get more information about this situation. But it seems a little bit unique from my other readings. So you can also go to my page. Uh, click on my little round face there, the painted face. <laughs> and on the first page, scroll down a little bit and you will have 
uh, the pick a card readings where you can choose a reading that fits with your situation, what you want to know and the cards that talks to you. So you will know more about this situation and how you're advised to act and what you can expect from the other person. I will, uh, there's also the Ju July monthly readings. You can go and check out that it's still on. It's still uh, energy that's uh, um, like for now. Uh, and then I will start with the August readings on Monday. Okay. Uh, so I'll probably do these general readings in the future in the order of birthdays uh, to, um, I think that it's time for something new. First I did it in the order of most viewed, then in the order of most liked. Now I feel like I want to do it in the order of birthdays. Uh, so we need some change now and then, all of us. <laughs> okay, so hope this helps. I want you to take really good care and bye-bye.